Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about a one more topic in DBMS that is anomalies. So first let us discuss about what is an anomaly and what are the different types of anomalies. And this anomaly is a fault occurs in a database. Right. So, which is because of uh, poor design, poor design of database or storing the data, right? This is called an anomaly. So that means some fault occur in the database. So what are actually these faults or what actually these anomalies? So there are three categories of anomalies. One is insertion anomaly, insertion anomaly. The second one, deletion anomaly and the third one, updation anomaly. So this insertion anomaly will be occurred during the insertion of a data into the database. So this occurs during insert, inserting data. Inserting data and this anomaly occurs during deletion of data and this occurs during updating the data. That means the faults or errors we get during insertion is called an insertion anomaly and the fault occurs during the deletion of data. So if you want to delete some data, so the possible faults we may get is a deletion anomaly and this uh, updating the data is comes under the updating anomaly, right? So. Now we'll go with the insertion anomaly. So let me discuss about uh, uh, theoretically. After that, I will show you an example, right? So I'll take one table and I will show you what is the insertion anomaly and what is the deletion anomaly, when it will be occurs, and I will I'll say all these things after the after this explanation. So insertion anomaly. So while inserting the data, if you are unable to insert. without presence of other attributes that means we know that a table consists of attributes so if we are unable to insert a data for a particular attribute without the presence of other attribute that means a dependency so one attribute is dependent on another so without giving the value of one attribute if the table doesn't take the value of other attribute then we call it as an insertion anomaly so I'll give you the example. Okay. So deletion. If some data is deleted, with the deletion of other data, with the deletion of other data, that means if you are supposed to delete some data in the table, which may delete another attributes that type of anomaly we call it as a deletion anomaly right so if you, the intention is if you want to delete a one attribute so which may delete the some other values some other values okay some other information so that type of anomaly is a deletion anomaly and update an anomaly update anomaly so if our table consists of redundancy if our table consists of redundancy then automatically this updation anomaly will be occurred. That means if you want to update one uh, attribute or one row, so it should be reflected on other rows also because of redundancy, right? So that type of uh, anomaly, we call it as an updation anomaly. So these are the different types of anomalies available in DBMS. 
and only one way to avoid these anomalies is by going with the normalization normalization or we can simply call it as a decomposition decomposition that is also a lossless decomposition lossless decomposition decomposition means dividing the table into different tables sub tables and also splitting and joining both we can call it as a normalization right so here because of these anomalies we are going to split the tables and we need to uh, give a relation i mean be, between tables okay relationship between different tables so these anomalies because of these anomalies to avoid these anomalies we are moving with the normalization or decomposition this is the only solution to avoid the anomalies okay insertion deletion and updation anomalies now uh, let me take one table and i will explain you about the in insertion anomaly so that means inserting the data we can't insert the data without uh, the presence of other attributes and deletion deleting some data which may lead to delete of some other information and updation because of redundancy so we'll see all these three anomalies by taking one example one table and then i will explain you about this insertion deletion and updation but anomalies are nothing but a faults occur in a database because of poor design or storing data in flat database flat database right so let us take one example so let us take this example so this is a, a details of a student who enrolls the course okay so let us take so this is the enrollment of course other than their academics okay so the students may enroll or may not enroll so here the primary key here the primary key is a combination of the student id plus course title course title because one student may enrolled in multiple courses so we can't consider the student id as a primary key right primary key means a unique so there the should not be redundancy but here uh, we can't take the student id as a primary key because one student may enroll different courses similarly one course can be enrolled by different students so we can't uh, make this uh, course title also as a primary key so but we can give both student id and the course title as a primary key right so here it is a primary key now coming to the insertion anomaly insertion anomaly so what is this insertion anomaly so we can't able to insert the data without the presence of other data so here if in this particular table you can see so if a new newly joined student okay we can't add the newly joined student until he or she enrolled to the course title okay so without the course title we can't insert the student details here because course title is also a part of a primary key it should not be kept null so such type of anomaly we call it as a insertion anomaly so here so so data can't be inserted without a course title without a course title right so such type of anomaly we call it as a insertion anomaly insertion anomaly right so next deletion deletion so if you consider so uh, after some days just the students are they have left the college so i need to remove this uh, student details right so if you delete this student details right right now yes so if you delete the student details automatically the course which was enrolled by this particular student will also be deleted and the course is only 
enrolled with this particular student itself only with one student so automatically this course details will also be deleted hope you understood so sri language is enrolled with only one student so if you delete the sarathi automatically the course details will also be deleted so that is one drawback that means deletion of one data may delete the some other data okay so previously if it is a c language there will be no problem if you delete the student sarathi there will be a course title c which was enrolled with a hari but if the case is like this if the case is like this that means if the course is enrolled with only one student if you delete this student automatically the course will also be deleted if you delete this course the student details will also be deleted right so such type of anomaly we call it as a deletion anomaly right so deletion of course or uh, yeah deletion of course will delete student also or simply vice versa if you delete the student automatically the course will be get deleted that's called the deletion anomaly and updation anomaly updation anomaly so coming to this updation anomaly the, if there is a data redundancy automatically this updation will be done okay this anomaly will be occurs see here we are having the redundancy see this is the redundancy we are having and uh, this is the redundancy we are having so if if the address of a particular student, uh, student sandeep has been changed that should be reflected in two different rows so hope you understood so there is a redundancy column redundancy so here if the address of a student sandeep has been changed to bangalore so that should be reflected on other rows which are related to this particular sandeep okay so we need to update the two different rows so one, updating one row will not reflect on another row so here what what happens in the first row the sandeep belongs to bangalore in the second row the sandeep belongs to bapatla which shares the common student id okay common student id so 100 student id 100 belongs to bangalore in one tuple belongs to bapatla in another tuple so which is nothing but update anomaly update anomaly so there is a redundancy so if one uh, tuple has been changed updated that should not that will not reflect on the other table other uh, tuples right so here change of address change of address for student id 101 will not reflect on other tuples other tuples and here we are having two different uh, uh, i mean redundancy and here also we are having redundancy so which belongs to same student id right so if you change this one so it should reflect on the second one also but it doesn't happen so manually we have to uh, change another rows also which are related to this particular 103 student id so such type of anomaly we call it as an updation anomaly updation anomaly right so this is just because of a poor design okay a, a very bad design so in order to avoid such anomalies we need we need to move with the next one that is a normalization so there we will split the tables which will avoid these type of anomalies okay we will split this complete table okay and we will relate them we will relate them so that's why uh, by splitting the tables we can avoid the anomalies concept overcome the anomalies that means a false occurred in the database right so hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubts regarding this anomalies concept feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much